How's it going everyone? Here to take a look at a plethora of new PlayStation 5 game reveals and updates. We got some major upgrades coming. New side-scrolling action adventure title and a free update that recently dropped for a game that didn't get a ton of buzz, but a game that technically speaking looks very good and it's been available for a little bit. We'll talk that at the end of this video, but I want to start things off with Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Now this is coming from Tecmo Koei and of course Team Ninja. Whenever you talk about a Team Ninja game, I think the gameplay is going to be at the heart of discussion, but Wolong Fallen Dynasty has just gotten a story trailer along with some new screenshots. Now, the overview from Tecmo Koei notes uh, about the story trailer. Wolong Fallen Dynasty features a storyline set in the later Han Dynasty of the Three Kingdoms with the combat and cutscenes supervised by the game's cinematics director, Kenji... Tanagaki, the famed action director of the popular Roroni Kenshin movie series, these powerful action scenes are the center of Tecmo Koei's latest trailer, showcasing the game's dramatic storyline. The original story follows a nameless militia soldier who confronts a conspiracy surrounding a potent elixir with mysterious powers along the way. The soldier not only confronts countless demons and monsters, but famous warlords and military masterminds from history that you will encounter throughout the game. Now, Wolong Fallen Dynasty is due out in early March on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. It will be released on Xbox Series, Xbox One, and PC as well. And on top of that, if you're playing it on Xbox or PC, it will be available via Xbox Game Pass. So another huge addition for Game Pass. Think about it. In uh, February, they've got Atomic Heart, and then in March, they're parlaying that with Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Major coups for Microsoft as far as Game Pass is concerned. This looks like a super slick, fast-paced action title, obviously being done by Team Ninja. They were the developers of Neo, so something like this is going going to be right up their alley with all of the other titles they have worked on as well. A dark fantasy set in the chaotic Three Kingdoms period, the narrative vividly tells the tale of Militia Soldier's strenuous fight for survival during a later Han Dynasty infested with demons, its madness in the Three Kingdoms like never before. Awaken the power within, defeat deadly enemies to boost morale, and awaken the power from within. Overcome adversity through unique new strategies including battle styles based on the five phases. So again, that'll be dropping on March the 3rd. Moving on from that, we've got some PS5 upgrades as well as PSVR 2 notes. Tetris Effect Connected will be coming to PS5 and PSVR 2. Unfortunately, not a free upgrade. It will be a $9.99 upgrade. Some games are going the free upgrade route on PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2. And then in the case of Tetris Effect Connected, it will be a $9.99 upgrade. So a little bit of a bummer there. Originally released as Tetris Effect on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation VR in November of 2018. The game was hailed as a breakthrough title by fans and critics alike, earning an 89 Metacritic score and 80-plus awards and nominations from major outlets, including over overall 2018 Game of the Year honors from Giant Bomb and Eurogamer and various Best of 2018 awards from a bunch of different other outlets. Obviously, the game has been released on a plethora of different platforms, but now it comes to PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2 with a host of exclusive new features. Close your eyes to enter the zone with PSVR 2 eye tracking enabled in the game options. You can enter the zone by closing and then opening your eyes. Yes, this is going to be a little bit trippy with VR 2 to say the least. PlayStation VR 2 headset feedback. Transport yourself into the world of Tetris Effect Connected, where you can feel key moments in the gameplay. Transitions are physical as you move between journey mode stages. Feel the jolt of the haptics as you go into and out of the zone. Enhanced controller feedback. Experience a new layer of sensory stimulation through the dual actuators of the DualSense controller and the PSVR 2 Sense controllers. One actuator in each. In these game actions left and right movements, hard drops and soft drops, transitions, and the start and end of a zone. Frame rate and resolution. PSVR 2 will be 120 frames per second with a resolution of 2000 by 2040 per I and PlayStation 5 60 frames per second at 4K resolution. You can transfer save data from PlayStation 4 version to PlayStation 5. You can download and transfer PS4 save data to the PS5 using cloud or extended storage or connect the same network and transfer data directly from PS4 to PS5. Tetris Effect Connected is due out on February 22nd for the PS5 and PSVR 2, so a launch game for VR 2. Another game added to the launch lineup, um, VR 2, I feel like you've made your decision whether or not you're going to buy it right now or in the near future. That price point is just going to lock some people out. Um, that's definitely going to be a barrier for entry, but I know what Sony's doing here. Probably knows that the early adopters are going to spend whatever it takes to get their hands on the unit, and then ultimately they'll create their bundles, they'll drop the price sometime down the line when stock is readily available and they're selling it in store. Next up, Res Infinite, also coming to PS5 and PSVR 2. Once 
once again, Publisher Enhance uh, will be charging it $9.99 for the upgrade for existing owners of the game. Fully remastered classic red levels, areas 1 through 5, enhanced soundscapes and visuals as well, PSVR and uh, PS5 uh, features, PSVR 2 exclusive features, I should say, eye tracking, uh, enhanced haptic feedback, PSVR 2 headset feedback, HDR res, and of course you can transfer data from PS4 to PS5. Once again, a $9.99 upgrade, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but hey, what can you do? So those are the two PSVR titles I wanted to note. Obviously, we're coming close on that. And by the way, Tetris, uh, Tetris Effect Connected and Res Infinite, they're completely playable without the VR headset. I should probably reiterate that, that if you just want to play the games on PS5, you can absolutely do that, and they're quality games even without the VR headset, so bear that in mind as well. Next up, new side-scrolling action platformer. We have Nocturnal coming from Sunnyside Games and Dear Villagers. This looks like a super slick action platformer. Carve your way with fire and steal to find out what happened to your people in this action platformer title. You're the only one who can discover the secrets that lie beyond the mist. Really slick art style here. Ancient soldier, you'll have to find out what happens to your brothers to free your island from the dark mist. Combat challenging and varied enemies that block your way to the goal to free the island from darkness. A deadly mist, a mysterious fog covers the island and chases you on sight. Make your way into it, discover its source, and make an end to this. But be forewarned, one cannot breathe in the mist, so you'll have to use your wits as you find new ways to keep it at bay. Awaken the guardian of the enduring flame that sleeps in you. Explore the island and its secret pl uh, places, and you have a speedrun mode as well with the title. With Nocturnal, we wanted to combine the immediate and timelessness of platform pa uh, platforming adventures with a more modern dynamism. Uh, the flames and mist give players a neat balance of oscillating between feeling weak and oppressed with fleeting moments of triumph as they engulf their weapons in fire. We think it adds a unique flow to a classic genre and look forward to everyone being able to play Nocturnal when it launches later this year. No official uh, release date, but it does know quarter two 2023 on the official Steam page, so hopefully it hits that window. Lastly, I do want to note that Bright Memory Infinite has gotten a Chinese New Year update. It is now available and it adds a third person perspective assist mode if you do want to take advantage of that uh, perspective assist when you turn on this setting. Chilia's model will be displayed on screen and the model will only be displayed while moving and firing weapon without aiming. The camera will revert to first person when aiming using skills using the light blade, defending and grappling. New downloadable content currently only available on PC. Tune rendering for PC and optimization fixes and miscellaneous changes have been added as well. Obviously this game is incredibly technical impressive like visually this game is a delight it's not something i would spend full price on but it is typically just $19.99, and right now it is on sale, 25% off for $14.99, so you can check it out at a little bit of a discount, but uh, yeah, wanted to make note of that as well. So that's a game that goes a little bit uh, under the radar, more so prevalent on PC than it is on PlayStation. But that is going to do it for me. Again, a lot of updates to go over in this video. Woe Long Fallen Dynasty has gotten a brand new story trailer. Excited for that coming March 3rd. Be on the lookout for that. Tetris Effect Connected coming to PS5 and PSVR 2 on February 22nd, as is Res Infinite. Both are going to be $9.99 upgrades. Nocturnal, a brand new side-scrolling action adventure title coming to PS5 and PS4 later this year. And Bright Memory Infinite gets a Chinese New Year update. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.